So uh, our sacrificial poet of the evening, will you please give a welcome for newest minister's own poet laureate, Candace James, everybody. Give a big round of applause for the love of Candace James. The skeletons I incarcerated so long ago inside the cellular structures of my soul claw incessantly with long bony fingers at this moment of truth and a memory that lingers in the crumbling prison locked inside my mind where time and tide start to unwind creeping out through cracked crevice lines quite unaware of buried landmines a ghost from the past creeps through these walls and the gaps in the concrete down the halls. And I hear a distant rattle and clunk from bones clamoring in a rusted out trunk, growing louder as they draw near. My guarded castle, my fortress of fear, the large burned out building I keep my dreams in where there's nowhere to end, nowhere to begin. Each skeleton died, a dream, and it died. A wish that ran away but could not hide. These skeletons haunt my dreams, and they still try to hide in the paws of my screams. But I fight to the nail to set them free, but they cling like wool to me steadfastly. These empty voices taking up space inside, leaving no place for my soul to abide. So I draw out my gun and I grab my sword to sever at last their umbilical cord and force these skeletons to take their leave. God is my witness, their blood's on my sleeve. These skeletons I incarcerated so long ago in the cellular structures inside my soul have finally left like thieves in the night. They've fashioned their bones into wings, taken flight, flying far, far away from the weak, frail, and blind, and the crumbling prison locked inside my mind.